Hello all, Vinod here from Endurance Engineering Academy. So in this video, let me discuss about engineering mathematics. See, um, I'm not sure how many of you are uh, going through this engineering mathematics properly regularly uh, when you are preparing for any exam such as GATE or uh, other public sector exams okay whatever whatever may be this but i'm going to focus on gate with respect to gate only and i have taken the last uh, five years of gate papers and after analyzing the engineering mathematics questions from the last five years gate paper the thing which i am going to conclude okay there are a few things which i wanted to conclude okay so first thing is um, regarding mathematics is concerned okay why i taken only uh, recent five years papers because there was good change in the trend if you ask the if you ask me about 2013 or 2014 paper and if you ask me about the papers which is asked in 2021 or 2020 there was good change in the trend so it is always better to um, focus on the latest trend so by going through the latest trend one thing which i observed is with respect to uh, with respect to max the change in the max okay so initially during 2013 or 2014 there used to be around 15 marks, approximately 15. Okay, most of the times it's going to be 15. Okay, 15 marks out of the 100 marks, 15 marks it's going to be mathematics. Okay, earlier time I was saying about 2013 or 2014. But when it comes to recent time, the mark distribution has varied. Okay, they are asking just 11 to 13 marks. Maximum they are asking 13 marks only. And even in the gate 2022 brochure also they mentioned it as 13 marks. So the range it is ranging it is varying from 11 to 13 but 11 is the minimum mark okay, which they are asking. If you consider the last year paper 2021 paper if my memory is correct. First paper they asked 11 marks and in the second paper I am talking about ME okay ME, uh, ME paper. The first set they asked about uh, they asked 11 marks and the second set they asked 13 marks okay. Accordingly different papers there are different marks for example 11, 12, some paper 13. So it's going to be range between 11, 12 or 13 that's it that is the first observation. The second observation with respect to the question level the question level has improved a lot. Okay, compared to the previous questions, okay, previous questions means uh, compared to the question which is asked in 2014, 15, 16 or something. Recently, 2019 paper paper's max question was better than 2018's paper max question. 2020 paper max question is better than 2019 and 2021 is much better than 2020. And if you ask me, uh, the question levels, they are good, they are, the question levels are good, they are improved, but I won't say that they are very tough. Okay, some questions are lengthy, some questions are short, but they have improved the question level compared to previous papers. As the year progresses, they are increasing the question level. That is the second point. And the third point is the question level which I was saying about, we won't able to see tougher, more tough questions in all the papers. Okay, there are different papers, right? ME, CE, PIN, etc, etc, EC, triple E. So not in all the papers. Okay, for if you consider ME paper, first paper, okay, 2021, first set paper, the questions are a bit difficult, okay, they are moderate to difficult. But if you consider the second paper, the questions are somewhat easy, easy to moderate only. And similarly, generally, if you go for uh, the, what is that, uh, electrical side, circuit branch papers, the max questions are a bit higher level compared to others also. See, I'm not including XC paper here because uh, XC every year there will be 15 marks. So I'm not including XC in this analysis. Okay. This analysis doesn't include XC, but more or less for other department, it is almost same. See why I'm saying almost same because consider electronics and communication engineering. Okay. EC numerical methods are not there in their syllabus. Recently, they removed it. Consider uh, metallurgy, MT. Numerical methods is not there, they, uh, they removed it. So, sorry, uh, ECE numerical method is removed and MT complex number is not there. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just did, uh, I, I said it wrongly. MT complex number has been removed. Okay, I guess it's not removed. It's basically, it's not there. Even from 2016 also, it is not there. And uh, ECE numerical methods was removed from, I guess it is from the last year, from 2021, they removed numerical methods also. And sequence and series is also removed from ECE. Initially, sequence and series was used to be there but now they removed that also so kind of 
uh, and if you consider electrical and electronics again triple e and ec there will be more transforms for example z transforms and uh, other other transforms which uh, uh, what is that fourier transforms which is not actually there in case of uh, in case of other departments if you consider me alone ce alone we have only laplace transform but in electronics and communication triple e there is fourier transforms also there are, there are z transforms also but basically z transforms or fourier transforms both they will be covering it in their core paper itself for example signals and systems itself they will be covering completely z transform so that is something which though which they don't need to cover it separately in engineering mathematics they will be covering it in the core paper so in general if you see the analysis of uh, any mathematics analysis they won't include that z transform for a transform in engineering mathematics because they are asking it in uh, signals and systems itself for ec okay uh, now where i was yeah so one paper they are asking ec one paper they are asking somewhat tough see the issue here is we cannot decide which paper they are going to ask easy questions and which paper they are going to ask tough questions and we cannot decide which paper you need to allot okay you can you, uh, the the paper is going to be selected by uh, randomly only okay you might get first session you might get second session so there is no necessary that you will always get a first session there is no necessary you will always get a second session it varies every year so we don't know which which uh, which session they are going to ask tougher question and we don't know which question which session they are going to ask a easier question so we cannot decide it so my suggestion is study until that level only and now coming to which topics i can study which topics i need to leave see please please don't ask me this question when it comes to engineering mathematics there are few questions few uh, this question has been asked by few students that is why i'm really getting what i could say why you need to leave topics in engineering mathematics because it's a subject as you could see it is carrying 11 to 13 marks 13 percentage of your uh, of your complete gate exam leaving one topic leaving two topic for example let us consider linear algebra in general in linear algebra they are asking one to two marks either they are asking one mark question or they are asking two mark question not more than two maximum two okay in a set in a set in a paper in a session okay now let us consider that you studied um, uh, what is that eigen values eigen vectors because those questions are repeatedly asked okay let us consider you studied those topics very thoroughly but you forgot to or you you are you you didn't taken care much about rank you didn't taken care much about the basics of matrix you forgot the properties of determinant and all those things if suppose suddenly they are asking questions from properties of determinant what you will do will you say that eigen values and eigen vectors are very important topic so i concentrated only on that i left uh, i left uh, the properties of determinant i left the uh, properties of rank so i don't know you cannot say that you are going to lose either one mark or two mark and similar similar is the case for anything whatever the topic you take vector calculus you will study green theorem stokes theorem gauss divergence theorem and, I, and you will do the basics okay suddenly suppose they are asking questions from basic some basic vector uh, what is that uh, some basic vector principle some basic questions from vector then what you will do again you are going to suffer okay any any topic you consider for example consider probability you um, i am just saying about the mentality of the students when it comes to probability they will be very good at uh distributions okay normal distribution uh, binomial distribution poisson distribution linear dis uniform distribution whatever they will be very good at that but they will leave the basic probability they will study but they won't concentrate much on that they won't concentrate they won't solve more questions on it but the advantage of basic probability is you are going to there is a possibility for asking questions from basic probability in max and also there is a probability for asking the same same type of question same type of probability question in apt also so it's a special chapter honestly it's a special chapter where you can get questions in max and also in apt okay so if you do that if you concentrate on distribution alone suppose two papers as i said first session second session you are appearing in the second session suddenly in the first session they asked the distribution they asked some question from normal distribution which is very easy and in the second session or let us consider it is very tough first session they asked normal distribution which is very tough second session is the session you are uh, appearing okay you are going to attempt and let us consider in the second session they asked very easy question from basic probability but if you don't know if you, for example conditional probability but if you don't know conditional probability you don't have the basic of conditional probability then what you will do that is what i am saying i won't recommend even skipping single topic from engineering mathematics maybe yes you can skip very rarely asked topic but that also i won't recommend 
covering engineering mathematics fully 100 percentage is something which i will suggest to my students and that is what i am suggesting to all the students who are watching this youtube video also okay now where i was so coming to the mark distribution which i didn't talked about this is a general variation but uh, as i said already the first set they might ask questions in eigenvector and the second set they might ask questions from determinant the next year paper they might ask questions from uh, what is that uh, the homogeneous system of linear equation in the another set they might ask questions from rank so which questions are they are going to ask we don't know but of course important topics are there if you consider linear eigenvector and eigenvalues are very important repeatedly they asked questions suppose the session which you are occurring if suppose they have not asked eigenvalues and eigenvectors what you will do we cannot do anything right maybe in the first session they ask maybe in the second session they won't ask so that is why when it comes to max i won't suggest this is the important topic you only study this that's enough no never i won't do that you have to go through everything okay so when it comes to linear algebra the average mark was 1 to 2 see when it comes to differential and integral i combined it okay differential calculus and integral calculus because how the questions are maybe sometimes in few papers how the questions are uh, allocated uh, in few paper there is no question from differential calculus there are two questions from integral calculus okay in some paper one question was there in differential one question was there in integral in few paper no question from integral both are from differential so there is a difference the minimum one until maximum three question there is a possibility for asking from this combination that is why i given three to four marks okay one mark plus two mark or two mark plus two mark is also possible and even there is a possibility for two one marks and one two marks okay fine uh, that is about differential and integral calculus so it combinedly it has a very huge weightage and, and very importantly differential calculus and integral calculus not only it's important for max it is important for other core subjects also when it comes to for example take mechanical engineering when it comes to fluid mechanics or when it comes to um, solid mechanics engineering mechanics without calculus it's going to be difficult for you because uh, whatever the topic which I'm going to explain, I will take a small strip, I will take a small element, I will integrate it. So without integration, without basic integration, without basic differentiation, it's tough to proceed in those subjects. Okay, so that is why these two topics are not only going to be, see many places, many n number of places I'll be using maximum minima concept. Okay, so it's very, and even slopes concepts okay slopes the first order derivative is the slope right so many many concepts from differential calculus and integral calculus i'll be using in the core also so these two topics are something which is not only going to be um, helpful in getting marks from mathematics it's very helpful for getting marks uh, for understanding the core subject in a better way okay now coming to vector calculus it's a very small chapter easy chapter i hope everyone will be comfortable with that and differential equation it is an important chapter when it comes to me paper mechanical paper it's very important even for xe also it is very important but anyways this video i'm not talking about xe in general i'm saying for mechanical it's one of the very important chapters okay differential equation complex variable numerical methods maximum one one question they can ask either one mark question or a two mark question and both are small chapters and easy chapters there won't be any issues i guess and there is no topic which you need to skip it and finally laplace see most of the times 90 percent of the times the questions from laplace are going to be one mark only sometimes they might ask you two marks also but maximum it's going to be one mark and it's very small chapter just you need to remember some 20 formulas okay that's it the properties and uh, what is Laplace transform for some Laplace transform for uh, basic what is that basic uh, functions okay just very simple one uh, you required some two hours or maximum to uh, cover it and practice all the questions from previous year okay and probability statistics as I've already explained to you okay fine now coming to where to prepare okay so as I said how important this subject is okay it's a very important subject and how important this subject is going to be for other subjects also considering these two they are very important for gore considering probability it is important for apti also so this is 11 to 13 marks is something which is directly engineering mathematics is going to give you but in a hidden way there are many other marks this topic is going to give okay fine now coming to where to prepare see my best suggestion is going to be any one of these three so i won't say all the three surely i won't say all the three either if you are doing self preparation gravel okay so higher engineering mathematics by bs gravel okay it's a big book 
very big book to buy it you will get to know okay so concepts okay can be covered from there some examples problem you can but i won't recommend to practice many questions from that because gravel book will contain some lengthy lengthy questions which are going to be uh, which are not actually required for gate okay gate requires some different questions i will say where to practice questions okay so first gravel okay for concepts if you are doing self preparation if you are going for coaching and obviously you will be having that gate coaching notes okay whatever maybe offline coaching or online coaching live classes or whatever you will be having that notes cover it or if you are attempting online courses okay i was just about to remind you that endurance engineering academy is also offering engineering mathematics course okay it's also offering engineering mathematics full course it's for all the streams okay so if if you are attempting any online courses not only in uh, endurance engineering academy if you are attempting in if you are attending in any other institutes also that class notes will be more than sufficient okay so for reminding you again what this course is going to cover let me just say first it's going to cover video lectures second solved problems third study material fourth previous year questions okay previous year questions of almost all the departments okay of almost all the departments i was meant to say 90 percentage okay uh, we have not we have skipped few questions okay we have skipped few questions but this 90 percent of the questions will be more than enough for you and five topic test and uh, subject test Okay, topic wise test will be there, and subject wise test will be there, and six doubt supports. What does mean by this doubt support? You will get added into a separate, um, separate Telegram group for engineering mathematics. Once after registering for this course, in the first, uh, what is that? First video, first instruction itself. The instruction how to join for a tele, how to how to join in the Telegram group, doubt support group. By going through the instruction, you will get to know how to join in the doubt support group. And in that doubt support group, not only the questions which are there in the course. If you are going to solve any other questions from any other test series or any other book, even that questions also you can post it in the Telegram group. You will get answer for that questions. Okay, you will get a solution for that question. Okay, and ninety percentage. I will nine not ninety. 95 percentage i will be the person who is going to respond to your doubts okay balance 5 percentage if i am not available that is very rare if i am not available there is going to be any other person who is going to handle the doubt support but 95 percentage okay when it comes to video lecture doubt support it's going to be completely me okay yeah so that is what all about our course if you are interested i will just um you can just check out the description okay in the description itself we have our website you can just go and you can check out our course now coming back to the video okay so for concepts okay this is for concepts as i already said this is for concepts as i already said gravel self preparation kid coaching if you are going for any courses or if you are going for any coaching full coaching maybe mechanical or maybe electrical or maybe ec or maybe civil if you are going for a coaching they will be covering mathematics and you can follow their notes plus problems i will come okay and third one if you are doing self preparation but if you want some aid okay you are doing self preparation but if you want some aid for some subject you can take a single subject course okay such as as i said as we are offering a single subject course if, if you are not interested in our course if you are going for any other single subject course also it's up to you now coming to next problems from where i can do see when it comes to mathematics there is no other best source which is available other than previous requisitions of all department see you guys might think how oh, what is saying why previous requisition it's something which is readily available which is easily available why i need to do that see previous year questions and especially for all the uh, subject previous year questions are important but when it comes to mathematics it is very 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 important because you are not only going to do previous year questions of your department you are going to get previous year questions from very from almost all the see all the streams different streams see if you belong to civil you you can solve me paper you can solve question which is asked in ec you can solve question asked in triple e so that is a source a best source for engineering mathematics okay previous year questions of all the departments no other best source is available i can guarantee you say no other best source is available when it comes to problems for engineering mathematics okay now what is the next so oh, that is fine previous year question the next is going to be your test series question you are going to surely if you are preparing for gate you are going to register for a test series okay either uh, me or ec or whatever you are going to register for a test series 
and in that test series they will be giving you a topic wise test they will be giving you subject wise test and also they are going to give you the mock test right so in topic wise test subject wise test you will be writing entirely mathematics question and when it comes to mock test you are going to concentrate on um, full syllabus and in that full syllabus also you are going to get max questions in it and that is enough honestly that is enough if you are not uh, if you feel that okay i'm not that much uh, what is that satisfied i need more questions then what you do register for test series 2 see i'm giving you the suggestion for almost everyone okay even if you registered in our course or even if you register in our complete me course or complete xc course also i will suggest this to my students yes of course check taking test is very essential see from our test series if you consider our me test series around 60, 60 test will be there okay and i will ask my students if you are if you feel that you will, you will able to complete the 60 test in a time then go for another test series happily you go for another test series i have no issues in it the reason here is practicing questions variety of questions from other good sources i won't complain any other sources if you are comfortable if you are feeling that the sources are good then go for it practice questions okay because uh, test series is something which is not only going to give you variety of questions it's going to give you the feel exactly as that of your final exam i discussed about test series in many of my previous videos okay so you can just check out that in the playlist right so i hope this video would have been uh, this video will help you okay uh, in preparing your engineering mathematics uh, for gate exam or even for any other public sector exams which you are preparing for okay thank you